Here are the last four swimsuit posts from Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. See if you can spot the difference. Okay. Yes, normal. Okay, something's happening in Miami. What? <laughs> The person at Sports Illustrated who approved this and said this was a good idea, let's go for it, is so desperate and so stupid, so desperate to say that they're being all-inclusive of every culture. They've actually been fooled into thinking that promoting women's oppression is actually promoting women's liberty somehow. And I'm no feminist, and maybe you can call me old school on this, and even though I do believe in a free society you should be able to wear and not wear what you want with certain limits, of course, can't wear a, a mask, ski mask in a bank. But I find promoting women's oppression to be somewhat uncool and very un-2019 of us. To make it a fashion accessory is, is pretty insulting. What's next? You're gonna try to make a, a cool concentration camp uniform, make that cool and be, oh, this is so liberating, groundbreaking and uplifting? Now, the idea is that it's supposed to be about modesty. Now, if you want to wear something like this for fashion purposes, go for, go, go for it. I see people wearing stupid things all the time. You probably see me wearing something you think is stupid. Maybe my Archer shirt is stupid to you. But to say that it's about modesty, by definition, you are saying that women who are not covering up are immodest, which means they're promiscuous, they're slutty, and stuff like that. Now, here's an example for you. Here's a hat, okay? If I wear a hat as a fashion accessory, then you could disagree or disagree with me wearing a hat. It looks cool. Does it look good or not? But if I'm going to say I wear a hat solely because it protects me from UV rays, by definition, that would mean that I think not wearing a hat gives me less protection from UV rays. So the logic that it's just modesty culture and we don't believe we don't believe that women who don't wear it are immodest, completely falls apart because it doesn't make any sense because it's about a woman covering up at the adherence of a man. So WWE's very popular wrestler Sasha Banks actually tweeted this in response to the Sports Illustrated cover. Beautiful. Now, I like Sasha. She's pretty cool. She's a pretty good wrestler in the grand scheme of things. And if you want to mindlessly virtue signal, then that's fine with me. Everybody does it anyways. But the hypocrisy here comes in the fact that when the WWE went to Saudi Arabia, they threw all their female wrestlers under the bus for millions upon millions of dollars because Saudi Arabia obviously doesn't want women wrestling in uh, outfits like this, which obviously nobody else has a problem with, and they don't want women performing in front of men like this. So for her to say, for her to take the brunt of that, and for the WWE to say, you're good enough for us, but uh, you can't, you're gonna have to sit this one out to appease, you know, the Saudi princes and the oil kings and crap like that. But then she turns around and says, this is beautiful, this oppression, that the very reason that we weren't allowed to wrestle in Saudi Arabia, this is just beautiful, you guys. Now, the problem I have is this is regressive. It mocks women all around the world who are persecuted, beaten up, or even arrested if they show their hair in public. Iran is a good example of this right now, where women are trying to stand up and say, hey, this should not be compulsory because it's stupid, obviously, but there are many places in the world where a woman can be beaten for not covering up in public. Now, here's a fine example of how it's regressive. In 1958 in Egypt, here they are. I think it's the parliament or something. It's a large gathering where their president or prime minister is speaking, and they are laughing about the thought of a compulsory headdress to cover up women's hair in 1958. <laughs> مع الإخوان المسلمين على أن يسيروا في الطريق الصحيح والطريق السليم وقبلت المرشد العام للإخوان المسلمين وقعد وطلب مطالب طلب إيه؟ أول حاجة قال لي يجب أن تقيم الحجاب في مصر وتخلي كل واحدة تمشي في الشارع تلبس طرح كل واحدة تمشي وانا 
قلت لهم يعني اذا الواحد قال هذا الكلام بيقولوا رجعنا لايام الحاكم بامر الله اللي كان بيخلي الناس ما يمشوش بالنهار ويمشوا بالليل و انا في رايي ان كل واحد في بيته هو اللي ينفذ هذا الكلام فقال لي لا انت باعتبارك الحاكم مسؤول قلت له يا استاذ انت ليك بنت في كليه الطب مش لابسه طرحه ولا حاجه ما لبستهاش طرحه ليه ده كنت انت إذا كنت أنت مش قادر تلبس إذا كنت أنت مش قادر تلبس بنت واحدة اللي هي بنتك طرحة عايزنا ننزل ألبس 10 مليون طرح في البلد الناس So let's look at the best case scenario here for Sports Illustrated. Let's say everyone's happy. The feminists are happy. The people who wear burkinis are happy. The Twitter people are happy. Sports Illustrated wins in the court of public appeal. Let's just say that's happening, okay? What good does it do them? Does it help you sell magazines? Does it help you sell calendars? Does it get you more followers and more hits? Now, if you look at the posts here on the comments, all the positive comments are from girls and checkmarked accounts just giving love, so beautiful, so, so great to see representation. But there's also so many men calling out the hypocrisy that they see. And there's so much of it that Sports Illustrated is deleting the comments. I went and saw a whole sloth of negative comments go back a few hours later and they're gone. But they keep piling up for them, unfortunately. Now, judging from this, I can only discern that Sports Illustrated, you know, they hate a lot of people in their path of destruction to appease the very few. They've, they've thrown a lot of people under the bus here. So here's a quick list of who this tells me they hate. Their followers, first and foremost, who are here for women in bikinis and not your virtue signaling. Western society, which has been fought and established to stop women from being forcibly covered up. Women who are persecuted around the world for not covering up. This model for making her such an easy target like this, putting her up in a place where she's just going to get ridiculed and she probably doesn't deserve it. And most of all, their own employees, their own models. Okay, these, these are hot girls who work hard to achieve physical fitness. They work out constantly. Sometimes they skip on meals, which is obviously not healthy. They deal with fashion perverts. You can only imagine how many perverted guys are trying to get into fashion, asking them to send pictures of their feet for money monthly. I know some of you do that. Stop doing that to girls on Instagram. And they do this all so that they can travel and do photo shoots and sometimes terrible weather where they're freezing cold but they have to look pretty and they do it for you and they do it for Sports Illustrated so that they can make money. But now, because I don't know what the reason is, someone else can just come in and take their job. Just like the grid girls in the UK got banned. A woman here can now come in who's 600 pounds or something, never works out, never has a, spent a day in, gym, in the gym in her life, and she can take these women's jobs. Or a woman can come in and just because she's willing to be dressed from head to toe, just because she can take their jobs. Even though nobody really wants to see it, these girls have to take a back seat to these people who are being used as props for a political gain and for a monetary gain. The same people Sports Illustrated is trying to appease by doing this aren't going to watch this, aren't going to care about this in the long run. Feminists, people who think that not covering up is immodest, they're going to think that using yourself as an object of desire for men in itself is distasteful. So it really doesn't make any sense across the board. And my final question to Sports Illustrated is when is the nun? When is the nun uh, swimsuit going to come out? When is the Hasidic Jew swimsuit going to come out? Are we going to see those? Are we going to see the expression of all these faiths? A girl with a huge, standing with a huge crucifix? Are we going to see that uh, represented equally? What I want to say to you guys out there is give girls a break on this if maybe you don't agree with them, with them sharing this or thinking it's really positive because the media is trying to break their brains. And women are really good at giving men a break a lot of the times. Let's, let's admit it, they are. But the media is sending them so many mixed messages thousands of times a day. It's probably hard to, to be a girl and absorb all this stuff at once. On one hand, you've got them saying 
be 600 pounds, don't exercise, and maybe be close to a heart attack, and it's fine. But on the other hand, be really hot. Show your ass. Take pictures of your ass. That's the worth. That's worth the most in the world to be hot and popular on the internet. On one hand, be super feminist. You don't need a man at all. But on the other hand, attract men as best as you can. So it's a very confusing world right now. So give people a break when it comes to terms with this stuff because the media is out there right now breaking people's minds. And whether they know it or not, they're being really stupid and irresponsible.